Hey guys, talk with Cyclone FPV, and I am in the middle of this repair, and it has it, this is the third run at it right now, um, and only because we keep running into glitches here. So let me just show you where I'm at, and there was actually more to this video, but I've restarted it a few times. So here's the deal: I have just replaced the. Um, TBS. So I put a new one on there and that is version 6.1.0 which is listed as a beta firmware on the module side when you go to update. And you have to use Agent M, right? You cannot use Agent uh, X apparently to do your update. So just so that we're clear on this, let me go to the desktop real quickly. This is Agent X right here and this is what we've always been using. But apparently there is a glitch with this and you are not a glitch. You just are not supposed to use it apparently when you go to 6.1.0. So you have to go to this one. Uh, you will end up going to Agent M, which is right here. And I'm going to tell you that this was probably the biggest thorn of the day because uh, my module was having, I guess, a hard time doing it. Now I finally got everything paired. They're all linked together. We have no problems. I do believe that the issue with mine was that I was using a... Um, a uh, USB hub and I think that somewhere in all that it was just when it came to loading and then it would try to reconnect it would fail finally took it out of the hub put it in the laptop and everything was fine so anyways good news is we're bound this customer sent in this drone with the following problems one could not get it to spin up uh, could not get the motors to spin up so I didn't really get any detail on that but what I came to realize was and I'll show you this actually let me do this in a three screen uh, setup here okay so let's go to, uh, let's close this, and let's close this, and let's open Betaflight. And I've got a fan here that is blowing down on this. You can see it somewhere, maybe it'll get in here. It's a little Ryobi fan right there, you see? Uh, so it's cool and not keeping that Caddx cool while we're on. So anyways, let me plug this in real quickly. Because what I found was the following. So I came in here and I'm like, well, I don't know what he means by that, because usually what I would do is I'll just go down here to motors in Betaflight, and I will run the motors. And they are actually working fairly good. So everything here is spinning like normal. Um, there's no problems there. So I assume that it must be when he arms it. So then I went to his modes, and here's what I found interesting. Um, you see this little area right here? Watch. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to receiver real quickly. And here I'll actually make it so it's a little more legible. I will. Um, I'll do a picture in picture instead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look here, right? And I want to make sure that we're connected. And I don't know. Yeah, we're connected. Okay, so I'm going to set my arm switch here, right? And that's what this is right here, but watch what happens. Okay, so we're going to, the way his was, and I think we just had it, what it was was I think we had a bad receiver because here's the original TBS uh, receiver that was in there. That sucker was giving us a hard time, and I think that the uh, value was getting stuck right about here is when I used to, when I saw it last. So anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to reset everything. I'm just going to take all of this off. The customer can go back and set it on his own how he wishes, but um, I'm going to set this the way I want to so I can test this, okay? So let's do this. Range. First range will be arm. Okay, so we're going to set that like this. Second range will be horizon, right? So I'm going to flip that, and I'm going to set that over here. Third range will be fail safe. Let's go ahead and do that one. All right, so that's going to be my auxiliary three, and my beeper will be there as well. So I'm going to set the beeper this way for auxiliary three. Okay, all right. Next thing we want to do is uh, I don't think it's I don't think I see it here actually, so which means it must have all time error mode. So I'm going to turn that off. So let me save this real quickly. Go to configuration, and I'm going to scroll down here, and I'm going to turn off air mode here. Uh, I am going to turn on telemetry. Uh, I'm not even sure why they have soft serial. Let me check. Uh, what would they have? Hold on a second. Actually, that's not true. I know exactly why. Yeah, that's what they've got this hooked up to. Not a problem. So let's go down to modes again. And now I'm going to turn on to where I have air mode. Air mode will be another spot here. So basically, if I'm in first position, it's acro without air. Second position is acro with air. And third position is horizon. That's how I like it. And that's how it's going to stay for this test. Okay, now, now that we've replaced the receiver and we can get there, uh, we should be able to, that's our buzzer, that's working. Okay, I flipped it off though, it's not flipped off, I'm not sure why. Uh, let me see, hold on. Okay, so let's turn auxiliary three. It's stuck. Let's click that, click save. Okay, so the beeper not think that they have this. All right, let me click save and let's see if that happens. You see how this is stuck in failsafe, but the switch has been moved. So it's not, so let's go to our receiver tab. Let 
Okay. Sorry, I know that's annoying. Let me just uh, turn that off. So the system is stuck in a constant fail safe. Look. Look at that right there. See that? So let's do this. Let's go to our CLI and let's look at let's look at something here. Let's look at the version of the firmware. Actually, let me connect and let me go to the CLI. Let's do a dump here. Okay, let's do the dump. So I get a dump file. Now, my computer now is deciding to have a little bit of an issue. We'll give it a second. I'm not sure what's being sent to it or what's happening with it, but it should pass here. There we go. Let's go here, and let's just call this the Flywoo. Okay, so there we go. Now, let's go ahead and update the firmware. is the problem. Try guys one second. Try something different then. So let me go here. There we go. That's what I want to do. We'll just use the button instead. So it's not going into uh, bootloader mode or DFU mode uh, with the command. So we'll just hold the button and start it from there. All right. So while that's going, uh oh. All right, we're going to let that happen, guys, so give it just a second. I'm going to get the table ready to see if we can finish this off. So bear with me.
Okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and connect. Apply the defaults. And let's connect again. Okay, accelerometer is enabled, but it has not been calibrated. There we go. Let's look at our ports. Uh, we are going to have, uh, let's go to our configuration here, and we know that we are going to be using um, soft serial, and we are going to take, so I tell you what, let's go now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the entire flywood dump from here. I'm going to say uh, edit, and where is my select all? Get it. I'll just start and just highlight it. Okay, so let's do this. I'm just gonna go all the way to the top, copy here, go down, CLI, and ready, and paste. Now we're gonna see some errors pop up most likely. Probably right at the beginning you may see some. Not so far not. No red lines yet. No, we'll see. Okay, I don't know what era, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, perfect, I'll take it like it is right now. Let's just type save. There we go. Now let's see where we're at. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, let's connect. New set, ports. Everything should be set. Let's go to modes. Uh, well, cool, let's save mine. That's great. Let's turn on my radio. Okay, let's go to our... Hopefully we're going to see our light turn green here. There it does. All right, let's see. Okay, let's do our beeper now. And it is sticky still. So, let me see if we remove the fail safe. Let's go to our receiver. Okay, so with fail safe off. Okay, so now let's go to our modes and go to our buzzer or beeper. Let's add the range and we'll stick it right here and click save. And now let's see what happens. Awesome. So that part's good. Now I'm curious if I go to fail safe, um, let me see what they've done. Here, you see that right there? That's the problem. So it's not, it's setting the beeper. Uh, and this is on, this is on, let's see, stage one for the switch. Let me see where we're at. Okay, so let's, cor we'll correct this, um, but for right now, where I'm at, auxiliary three beeper, I, I don't even, I don't even want this on here. So let me see uh, what I want to do in case of that. Uh, but for, okay, so we'll reset the failsafe. Um, let me see. Beeper, we're not going to mess with it, so we're just going to leave it at hold. Uh, RSSI hold. I'm gonna leave everything at hold. Save and reboot. Okay. Now let's connect again. 
because here's the problem it automatically tells you that when it goes into that mode so watch this now right so when I connect and I go to my failsafe it says that in this regard hold it wherever it is right uh, and it's telling you to set this to horizon air mode um, uh, that it would stay like that so let me just make sure that everything else is fine let me see where I'm at okay so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go back to modes and we're going to go back to failsafe and we're going to add the range. So let me do that. Okay, there we go. And we're going to put this right here. Let's click save. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to flip it. Perfect. Now it flips off. So that is just a failsafe setting. Now let's go to our motors real quick and let's arm from here and let's flip our arm switch. Okay, so we cannot arm. Okay. Oh my god, this thing is all kind of wacky. Let's go here. We do not want motor stops. So get that crap out of there to begin with, okay? And then let me look at what it has for under uh, the beeper here. So let's click save and reboot. Okay, let's connect. Let's go to our motors. Let's go here. Oh my goodness, we are in business, folks. We are in business, look. Turn it off, turn it on, arm. And the system is solved. So most of this outside of the, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and just disconnect, so let's disconnect. Okay, and I'm telling you right now that a, a lot of this is just frustration in beta flight. So let's go ahead and power it off. Take this off. Unplug that. Uh, let's get ready to put all of our screws and everything back in like we're supposed to. Okay, so let me get that ready. Wind these up here. Let's put this here. All right, let's get the lock nuts. Listen to this stupid beeper again. Hold on. Shut up a minute. I don't want to deal with you. Shut up. Are you shutting up? Perfect. Okay. Next one. I gotta find the lock nut here, but let me just get these ones on at least. I'm always misplacing one of those, so let me just pull a new one out. I'm sure it'll come up. Oh, here it is right here. Never mind. Got it right here. Perfect. All right now. Let's get 
some uh, heat shrink. Get ready to protect this sucker. Just like that. And there we go. So with that done, I believe that I still have the battery from the last test flight. Might still have some power left in it. Let me check and make sure. Because if I can use that, we can take this on a quick test flight, guys. And then we can close this sucker up. And I am actually then done for the day. And I'm going to go home and see my wife and hang out. So let me just see if we're done. Bear with me a second. Let me put the fan back. Nope. If I can find this battery, it should be somewhere around here. But where is the cuckoo? Is the question. So let's see. Where would I have put battery? Mm -hmm. Hang in there, I'm gonna find it. Because I really want to close this up and call it a day. And here's the last this is the other drone that belongs to the gentleman that we did the video on. So that's the croc uh, croc baby four. So now I just gotta find the battery that I use for that to test fly. And we are in business. And why does that seem like it's such a hard thing to do? God darn it. Come on, I'm so close. So close. Oh, here it is, perfect. Nope, damn it. It's not it, it's not it, it's close. Gosh darn it. You know what, I'm just gonna make it work. I don't have time. So I'm gonna take this 4S. I'm going to use a converter uh, right here. We're going to make it work because I don't have time to worry about this. I'm going to take my, I don't know where I put the other battery. Uh, I really don't. It's been a long day. I had 30 repairs today probably. So let's just get this sucker to work. Okay, so we can test fly. So we'll do that. And then now I need to take my props off of here because this was his other drone and we used our props to test. So let's do that real quickly. And then we're gonna take this sucker and fly it. And if that works, guys, we are golden. This gentleman's gonna have two quads fully repaired. One was a really big repair. This GEPRC uh, was, was, was a real, real interesting challenge. Um, so let's do that. I will only put one screw in for the time being so I can just hurry up. Here. Uh, 
oh, my wife is making me a steak dinner, and my wife is amazing. Not sure if I've said that lately, but I'm going to tell you right now that I am the luckiest guy she picked me. Because that woman is beautiful and could have done anything she wanted, and I got lucky. But anyways, I just, I'm just excited to go see her and go have dinner and just have some fun. I mean, droves are fun and all, guys, but my wife is more fun. She's awesome. All right, enough of that mushy stuff. All right, let's go. We got, we got two more props to go, guys. Two more props to go, and it is the 22nd. We are three days away from Christmas. I am so excited. My boys, I won't, I won't get to see them on Christmas Day, but they know that I miss them, and they are riding me every day, and we are playing uh, Rainbow Six Siege and Fortnite daily. Uh, and I don't know. It's just... It's just awesome. It's not the, it's not, you know, love to have more time with him, but we're working on that. Let's just say we're working on that. Let's see what happens. For the rest of you guys, that's why I tell you at the end of my videos, you never know how much time left you have left, guys. So make the most of it. This will be the first year that my dad doesn't make it for Christmas, and he wasn't able to make it for Thanksgiving because he's been stuck in Beirut. I was able to go see him to help him for a few days uh, a couple weeks ago. I didn't say anything to anybody because it was very private. But uh, point being is, is he is missed. And with COVID now, everybody acting like a fool with COVID again and like the sky is falling, I'm sure the restrictions will keep him from coming back for a while. So enjoy while you can, guys, and spend time with the people you love. Because well, I tell you what, things can happen. All right. Again, enough of that crap. Let's get to it. We are going to try to secure this battery so it doesn't get in the way of the props. This is going to be very interesting. I think I'll just use a rubber band. That's exactly what I'm going to use because I want to go home. I'm not going to try to find that other battery right now. So let's just do this. Ready? Boom. Still looks sexy. Still ready to go. I'm going to turn that camera around, guys. So let's put this right here. Uh, let's do it like this. There we go. And I will turn that around so you guys can see what's going to happen right here. <sighs> let's hope for the best. Let's expect the best. Let's get our radio out. Look at that. I saw a prop spinning. We are... We are golden. Looky, looky there. I mean, we just do great things here. And it's kind of cool to have a place where you can fly indoors like this. I know you guys can't see all that, but just trust me, it's flying. Let's see if we can bring that back here. Lovely. Lovely. Park it. Look at that. Perfect. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now. That's some good stuff. All right. Woo. There we go. That is two for this guy right here. Congratulations to you, sir. I hope you have a great Christmas. I wanted to get these done and out the door so you could have them back before the holidays. They will ship out tomorrow. Um, to everybody else, listen, let me say this from my heart. Uh, I appreciate y'all. Um, there's always going to be people out there running their mouth and talking crap. But I'm going to tell you what, if you know me, if you've been here, if you've been true to yourself and not some guy, not some con artist just taking things when you think on your five finger discounts, it's sad. You know, I saw my drones for sale today that were, were stolen. It's, it's so pathetic. But you know what, guys, if you're, if you're poor enough that you had to steal, steal, buddy. Do whatever you got to do. And for the rest of you guys that got to lie and make up your rumors, do whatever you got to do. But for all the rest of you who are true, you know the truth, listen. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to your families. I wish you guys the very best. And yes, we say Merry Christmas here, not Happy Holidays. If you don't like it, turn the video off. I don't care. But it is Christmas time. And you know what? I bet everybody who doesn't like Christmas still likes those Christmas specials and those Christmas sales. So enjoy it. Don't be such a hypocrite. Hey, everybody, God bless. Be safe. Spend time with your family. To this gentleman, man, I tried to knock that out for you out of the park. And to all the folks that came by the store in the last week and have just quadrupled our sales, man, look. That's what we were waiting for. We appreciate you. Thanks for your support. Thanks for supporting my family. Thanks, thanks for supporting Jazzy, who is new here. Uh, and Matt Howitt, what's up, bro? Can't wait to see you back out here. Uh, and to everybody else, Jack Shaughnessy uh, and, uh, and all, all your supporters. And, 
hey, you know what? Even to the guys, even to those morons that stole my stuff, hey, man, Merry Christmas to you. I just hope that life gives you better stuff down the road so you don't have to steal anymore and you don't have to lie and put videos out that aren't true. It's, it's sad. It's sad to be adults like that. Uh, for the rest of you guys, God bless. Be safe. Go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left, so go make the most of it, please. To my boys, Ashley, Lana, and Jaden, love you guys, okay? See you guys uh, soon. And to my wife, I am coming home for that steak dinner. Peace!